a, a theater experience because we feel theater does um, a few very important things. It's obviously public speaking skills, learning that it's okay to be nervous and it's okay to be vulnerable and that we come through, but it's also the, the teamwork element. You know, um, you're working with someone for a goal that is bigger than yourself that you cannot do with other people. And it's a good way to see the kids, they can see the teachers all coming together, working together to create something. And also they as a group, as a grade level, not just a classroom, are coming together and building something that's bigger. Speak now or forever close your ears. I do. Well, get to yell at people, get to make people cry. <laughs> it's just a really fun part. I play King Reginald in the play. One of them does is scared, and every single time you object, well, I object to your objections. What excites me is being able to go and go in front of lots of people and show off my talent and sort of be someone else, be someone that I'm not. I'm Rapunzel, and this one, I don't have a lot of lines because. It's supposed to be that nobody ever listens to Rapunzel. This is why I never let you out of that tower. Of course I did. What else would I be doing all day up in the tower by myself? Well, your father said that your father said you have to be back right away, so let's get you dressed and ready to go. But I it doesn't really matter what part you get because it's fun to do the dances and stuff. That's how I go. This is my 12th musical here at Westmore. I'd argue it's not more elaborate, we're just more efficient, so we have room to add more. <laughs> Each year we kind of, we just build on it. Our skills have built, you know, running the audio and the sound is not an issue, so we're able to do more with it. Running the lights is not a big issue for us, we're able to do that. Um, we have a lot of people in the school here who do costumes, so we know how to kind of outsource and find the costumes we need, and we have a whole closet full. So. You know, it tends to be elaborate, but it's just because we've got it down and we're building year upon year. So Every fifth grader has the opportunity to come in and work on the scenery, and um, we do it after school. We lay the big, huge 7 by 9 foot ca canvases on the floor, and it's really fun to work in a small group and see the kids in another context and just in class, and it's fun to hear um, what they've learned about, or they've been practicing in the musical. what I did to create this, because that really looks like stone, doesn't it? Yes. What I did is this started out as a flat sheet, and I took a router to make the deep grooves. Try to go mostly side to side also, okay? I enjoy doing this stuff. Learn. Um, they learn kind of how movies, I think, work in acting and what it's what it takes to go into all this. Girls, I'll get the top. Don't worry about it. Good job, Grace. they will remember that people cared about them enough to make a big deal of it and I get emotional when I get to that part um, but you know someone needs to make a big deal of the kids and let them know they're special and that you know there's a reason that we put them on stage and dress them up and people spend hours working on their stuff they need to feel special um, they need to know how to function as human beings and work as a team and know that it's okay to make mistakes that it is okay to say, oh, that didn't go very well. I'll get it next time. We have another run through.